Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. JR Smith has an injury. Are you kidding me right now? I talked about in the last episode how many players get injured. Add another one to the list. Another one. Now, Victor Oladipo has been really disgruntled, and he'd like to be traded away. Alright, Oladipo. I'll promise to trade you away. He goes down in freaking 46... <laughs> Minus 46 morale, he doesn't even want to re-sign. Oladipo, he has some serious beef with me right now. I'll be moving to a new team next season with... He just hates me. Oladipo seriously hates me. So this is where I make the trades. Originally, this was actually a live commentary, but for some reason the audio corrupted, and now I have to make it a post-commentary. Deng has finally recovered from his like six to eight week injury, which means I can trade him now. So pretty much this is like my trade deadline video where it's actually not trade deadline, but I can make the trades that I want to make. And then what I can do after that is I can test out these guys and see who I like and don't like, and then make a minor trade at trade deadline and then continue with the season from there. So first things first, I'm a realist. Next things next, I got to trade Oladipo away. So, I went to the Bucks. I like Jabari. He came back from injury recently. I want to go after Jabari. But then I realized, this whole time, I want Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. You, if you guys have been following this series, you know that I want Andrew Wiggins. I picture him and Boogie as like a young one-two punch with Kobe and Shaq. Obviously not as good, but it's kind of what I was going for. Obviously, though, the Timbles don't want to give him up, and it's kind of understandable. Wiggins is something else, man. He's going to be crazy, but yeah, they don't want to give him up. So I guess I can wait till free agency and see if, see if the uh, Timbles don't accept his option, which is kind of stupid. But what I realized right here is that Nicholas Batum and Deng, or just players in general, they're worth more to other teams than other teams, if that made any sense. So let, let's say Batum, he's worth two and a half stars to the Rockets, but he's only worth two stars to the Pistons, which I didn't know that. So it's kind of cool right there. Now, the Pistons, they would give up, well, right here, I was going for Hassan Whiteside. The reason being is I would, I would plan to get rid of my backup center, who was, who, who is my backup center? I can't even remember, man. Who's my backup center? You guys would know. Larry, Larry Sanders, right there. Okay, finally figured it out. So I plan to give up Larry Sanders, and then I get Hassan Whiteside to come off the bench. Since he's only two stars in this My GM series, he might have dropped down a lot in overall. So having Hassan coming off the bench would be amazing. Then I also pick up Jabari Parker, but the Bucks seriously did not want to make that trade. They were saying, no, we don't want to give up Jabari Parker. So then after that, I go off to Stanley Johnson. I can get Hassan Whiteside and Stanley Johnson, and that would be a pretty deadly one-two punch coming from the uh, Pistons down to the LA Lakers. So I tried getting them, but yeah, the Pistons didn't want to give up uh, Stanley Johnson right here. So I guess it's understandable giving up Oladipo and Deng and, and Nicholas Batum and only a first-round pick. It's not that much for Stanley Johnson and, and obviously um, Hassan Whiteside. So yeah, they didn't want to do that. They had no interest in uh, giving up Hassan Whiteside. Well, they had interest in giving up Hassan Whiteside. They didn't want to give up Stanley Johnson. So right here, I was looking at the looking at the uh, Milwaukee Bucks because they had Middleton, a guy that has a massive contract, but he can be a really tr he players that have huge contracts. They seem to have really little trade value in this. So the the the. The team that has the players, if I stop stuttering right there, the teams that have the players literally give these guys up for nothing. And you're going to see right here. I go after Jabari Parker, Chris Middleton, Mason Plum, oh, Miles Plumley for Oladipo. Who else did I give up? I can't even remember. Let's have a look. Oladipo, Dang, Batum, a second round pick, a first round pick, and Jordan Clarkson for Jabari Parker, Chris Middleton, Miles Plumley, and Johnny O'Brien. And the Milwaukee Bucks have agreed to the trade offer. Woo! We got Jabari Parker on the team. We traded second overall pick of 2013, 2014. I can't even remember. We traded second round draft pick Oladipo for a second round draft pick in Jabari Parker. 
Then also looking over our roster, and I realized we only had one point guard in D'Angelo Russell. Since giving up Jordan Clarkson was a new move. I'm not Chris Smooth, but I had to say that. I also get rid of this guy. I send him back to free agency. Don't need him on the squad. I wanted to get Jordan Clarkson again. And for all you Jordan Clarkson fans, writing in the comment section right now, why would you give up Jordan Clarkson? Well, don't worry. I get this man back. Middleton's contract is huge though, 15 million, 14, 13, 13, he has a huge ass contract and if I want to sign any one of these guys that are in free agency next year, I got to get rid of Chris Middleton. So, let me go and look at Larry Sanders and Chris Middleton. Larry Sanders is my backup center and I don't really want him on this team to be honest. So I was looking at Chris Middleton and Larry Sanders as a package deal. I see Hassan Whiteside in that first round pick, which is a really good trade. And then I see Kelly Oubre as well. Those two trades really, really intrigued me. So what I tried to do was go for a three-team trade featuring Kelly Oubre from the Wizards, Hassan Whiteside from the Pistons, and then I give up Chris Middleton, who's worth a lot. He's worth two and a half stars to the Pistons. And that's what I was talking about before, where some players are worth more to other teams than other teams so if you, you know what I mean but Chris Middleton's worth more to the Pistons than he is to the Wizards he's only worth two stars to the Wizards but he's worth two and a half stars to the uh, to the Pistons the Wizards didn't really like that trade offer so I went after and got Hassan Whiteside which is a really good trade we traded Chris Middleton who had a huge contract and our backup center in Larry Sanders for a new backup center in Hassan Whiteside and we also got a first round pick which is really good for trade value that I can trade away for something else. Right here I tried to go after Kelly Oubre because I really needed a backup small forward shooting guard because I had Kobe Bryant injured and J.R. Smith injured and I just, I just want Kelly Oubre. So I give up Myers Leonard and Bruno Caboclo for Kelly Oubre and Alex Len. Great trade in my opinion. Although I really, really enjoyed playing with Myers Leonard, he had like a really nice three-point shot for his position. He could step out, hit the three-point shot. I had a lot of backup centers. I didn't need another backup center. All he was going to do is complain. You can't have Boogie Hassan Whiteside on the same team and then have Myers Leonard. He won't get any minutes. So I had to speed this up right here. I tried to go after this man, Jordan Clarkson, get him back on the team. So I give up our first round pick from the Heat and I give up Anthony Morrow and I get the one and only Jordan Clarkson to play backup point guard once again for the Lakers. It's been your boy, Smith. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you can't wait to see the next episode facing up against LeBron James and the Phoenix Suns, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.